Hi everyone, today is Thursday noon. I had my cerclage Tuesday morning. I was admitted around 8 a.m. and they took me into the PACU, I guess the room where they put in your IV and you change into that robe they give you. Um, I was there in that room from like 8.30 to about 9.45. Um, while you're in there, the anesthesiologist comes in and talks to you, explains the kind of anesthesia that he'll be using on you. I got a spinal. Um, they say that it's the safest to use while you're pregnant. Um, the doctors come in and they just kind of explain to you, you know, that they're gonna use a stitch and a needle to go through your cervix and kind of just stitch it together. So, yeah, I was in there for about an hour, 45 minutes around there. I, they took me into the operating room, I got in there at 10 till 10, they sit you on this bed that you barely have room in, like literally your arms to the sides, they like fall down, they don't fit on it. You sit on there first. The anesthesiologist um, prepares your back, starts pushing on your spine. That it does is not painful, but it's uncomfortable. And plus, you're nervous. I was. My legs were shaking like crazy. But the first needle that goes in, it's just you kind of feel like a little pinch. But that's it. It's not painful. It's not nothing like that. Then the second one that goes in, it's not painful. You just, I guess there's like touching your nerves with the needle. And it feels really uncomfortable. Not painful, just kind of a weird sensation. But once they find that spot, they put in the anesthesia they're gonna use that's it it's a really fast procedure um after that immediately after that you start feeling some tingling on your toes and um they lay you down on the bed <laughs> and um <clears throat> they tape your arms to the side like with a towel they put a towel over and they tape you so you can't really move your arms like around it's they're just there they put a little oxygen thing on your nose now um what else so after that um the doctors that are going to do the cerclage come in and they start getting you ready, you know, they put you like in the pap smear position. You feel them moving you, but you don't, it's just hard to explain. You're just numb. You know how sometimes you sit on your leg and it goes really numb and feels really heavy? Well, it feels like that. Um, and where they touch you, it kind of tingles a little bit. I was worried. I kept asking the anesthesiologist, so how much of this am I actually supposed to be feeling? You know, like, I didn't want to feel too much or not feel anything at all if I wasn't supposed to. But everything went good. They were done. They started the procedure maybe about 10... 10, 15, 10, 25, around there. 
and they were done a quarter till 11. They were done a quarter to 11. Um, as soon as they're done, you know, well, well when they start, sorry, I jumped apart. When they start, um, they kind of tell you, okay, right now, we're just cleaning the area, okay, right now, we're just putting in the, what's it called? Speculum. And then you just kind of hear the, hear them talking, you know, amongst themselves. Oh, okay, we're going to do this now and that, and there's never, like, dead silence that you have no idea what's going on. Or at least that's how it was for me. When they're done, okay, they move you from that uncomfortable bed to um, another bed, the bed you'll be laying on. They keep you in the PACU room for about two hours. By then you'll start feeling feeling your legs again. I mean, you'll have like still feel a little bit heavy and a little bit of tingling, but not as bad as before. Um what else? After about two hours in the room, you can they take you into your other room. Some procedures, um, you can go home the same day. Because, I mean, you know, if you have no extreme pain or no contractions or anything, they usually send you home the same day. They decided to keep me for the night just to make sure I didn't have any contractions. I didn't go into labor or anything like that. So, lucky me, I had to spend the night at the hospital. Um, I was terrified to pee. And I was cramping really bad. Because I hadn't used the bathroom. So, I kept telling the nurse that I was, that I was cramping really bad. And she's like, well, it's not supposed to be that bad. So when I could finally like move in my legs and stand on them, I went to the bathroom. I peed for about half an hour nonstop. You just hear this water falling and falling and falling. You're like, whoa, I did not know I had to pee. I guess the anesthesia doesn't let you feel the urge to pee. But trust me, um, as soon as you get the feeling back in your legs, you know that you can move them, get up and go to the restroom and you will pee, even if you don't feel like it. Because that pressure is what makes you cramp even more. Um, throughout the rest of the afternoon and the night, I felt a little bit of cramping, you know, sore, and they said it was all normal. So I spent the night, next day, yesterday morning, Wednesday morning, nothing, doctors came in, they checked me out, and I was released yesterday afternoon. I didn't do this um, video because I was just extremely tired and, you know, you just want to rest. But... It's, um, you not you don't feel pain, but let's say if you make a movement all of a sudden, you might feel like, oh, a little bit of cramping, I'm like, oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. So I would say, you know, take it easy for the first five days, you know, just get up, go use the restroom, you know, unless you really have to get up and be walking around, don't do it. You know, just rest as much as you can. Um, so I have Monday my appointment at the high-risk clinic for my progesterone shot, my weekly progesterone shot. And they scheduled my doctor's appointment with my ultrasound from Monday, two weeks from Monday. So that'd be, Monday's going to be May 9th. 
they scheduled my next doctor's appointment in ultrasound for May 23. So, by then, um, I'm going to be 20 weeks. So, keeping my fingers crossed, praying to God for everything to go well. For right now, it is. And <clears throat> if you guys have any more questions or I missed something or you guys want to know something else, <laughs> just let me know. And I'll be posting another video, hopefully on Monday, to see how my appointment went. And we'll go from there, alright? Well, all of you have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.